Hello and... Uh, damn it, I almost said hello and welcome back to Let's Play DTST with... But you just did! Yes, that was a clever uh, change of the tired and true welcome. So yeah, I just... Uh, that was very funny and masterfully done. Just on the spot by me. Anyway, yeah, here's Hippocat. Yes, yes hello. Hippocat. And here's Geonosis. Whatever that means, we are going to play this level today. Hopefully it's not three hours long. Hopefully I don't forget to quick save more than sometimes I can't move. Cool. Ah. It looks like you're lost in a galaxy what? far far away. Oh I am lost in a galaxy far far away. How nice. Doesn't feel so good, does mm -hmm. it? I don't know what he said after that, but apparently I am in a galaxy far, far away. Petra well, this Arena. is kind of uh, impressive. I All this uh, also, interesting architecture yeah. as you rise up on the elevator. Except I can't Pretty move! Cool. Ah, what the fuck is going on? Oh, executions, probably that's on purpose. Um, um, hello? Let me go? Or am I going to watch this? Also, yeah, this is probably that level that uh, my good friend Eris Falling mentioned. Or do I have to actually kill them? I only just kind of thought of that. Uh, okay, you hear it spawn. You see, you, you do hear stuff. Um, Eris Falling actually posted in the original thread uh, that uh, this music is too loud. Uh, that uh, he just uh, ID cleft to some random, uh, random level from the late game, and uh, he saw this. I remember. Actually, a screenshot about what, uh, about maybe this kind of view. I remember those structures, and he said, "Yep, yeah, this is probably going to be cool at least at the end." So yeah, that's uh, that's uh, one of the levels that uh, was. No, no one argues that these are the cool levels at this point, which is fine. Also, I'm pretty happy that in the thread uh, there is actually some people now who uh, say stuff that like uh, th this let's play makes them. Look at the what in a bit of different light. I think there was someone in the video comments very, very early. Maybe it was even Memphis, of all people. And even even Alfonso uh, didn't just completely shit on this what when we mentioned it in uh, personal messages. So, I feel like I've done a good deed here. I don't know. You will go to heaven now. Definitely. This is my solution. I, I just sat there one day I thought, hmm, there is a chance that I may not go into heaven. And what should I do? And I found this misunderstood and wrongly received word, and I decided I'm going to change everyone's everyone's opinions on this word. That's yeah, a very but good now, bit. now you're gonna miss out on all the fun of killing demons in hell. So I think that I am allowed to take Doom to heaven because I'm supposed to have like whatever I want. So. Yeah, I'll be I'll be fine, more or less. Actually, apparently, uh, if you take into consideration how people usually nowadays describe that concept, I will just uh, forget all the stuff that I cared about, and I'll be perfectly content doing nothing and just I know bathing in the glory of the Lord. What do I do now? I hope I don't have to kill everyone of these spectators. Oh, probably not. It's just an arena. Yeah, that would fucking suck. Imagine coming <laughs> to a football game as a spectator and you're just watching all the fun stuff that's happening on the arena and then one of the players just shoots you in the face and you well, fucking die. if it was football, one of the players would have to probably like kick a football and that sometimes happens as far as I'm aware. But here they clearly went to somewhere like this and uh, someone did say out loud uh, in text also let the executions begin. So, I don't know why they are actually so calm. Well, no, they're not calm, they're panicking. They know that I have weapons and I'm not afraid to use them. I wonder if I use a BFG, will they get caught in the blast? I have to minimize the in impact, so to speak. Yep, that guy died. Sucks to be him then. Our first um, victim of the tragedy that occurred. I don't know where, I don't know when, at this stadium of whatever. Also, using BFG on huge hordes of small people. Uh, well, that was not a very sensitive <laughs> of small, <laughs> small enemies. <laughs> it's pretty okay, sexy. Yeah. 
after somebody watches this video, you're not gonna be allowed to have any sorts of weapons forever. <laughs> well, I as if I'm allowed to have weapons at this point. I don't think I am. Not that I well, tried. Well, could be. Yeah, there, there is like a weapon shop, which you probably remember, like one subway station from my home. But uh, apparently, when I mention it to people who know things, they say that they just probably sell like hunting knives or whatever, not real guns. And definitely not rocket launchers. Yeah, whoa. Monsters coming from multiple directions, that's crazy. That's crazy. Also, really not similar whatsoever, but uh, I cannot help but remember the great, amazing, super cool game, which is uh, Jericho, because it also had a stadium level arena kind of place. And it was even cooler. Because it had that guy, Vikas. Yeah. Governor Vikas. Who, every time you started that mission, you needed to complete that mission without dying to unlock some extras, which I was trying to do. And every time you, you, you started, there is like this lengthy dialogue where Vikas says, like, Yes, we found Elysium where we can uh, feast and kill and or fuck and kill without consequence. Haha. -ha. And that well, the first time there is a shock value, there is like yeah. but when you hear that speech like ten times, it gets old. I don't know why I'm talking about this. Well then again, what is there to talk about? What is all that white star? Ah, yes, it's the uh, imp's horns. Hmm. So did Ray Riley actually say Galaxy Far Far Away or yes. was that you? No, he said that. But he said something else after that, which I didn't really hear. Uh, probably something to the extent that uh, I have no idea what to do, just do what comes natural, like. So, uh, I don't know. The, the significant part was the galaxy far, far away. I, I actually, as I was rising, I was thinking maybe it's like a Star Wars reference, or... The, I, I think they had some sort of, like, uh, gladiatorial scene or whatever. I remember... I, I haven't ever watched. Uh, Star Wars. I only, I think I only saw episode one in the theaters once. Uh, but uh, I think there was like a scene where someone gets dumped on some marine and there's like a huge monster which he escapes from, or maybe it was the sewers, or maybe it was in a game. <laughs> Dark, I whatever. I kind of, sort of remember a scene where a huge battle is going on on something that looked like some kind of a stadium, but uh, I'm not really sure. And that could be in episode 2. I'm not sure, I'm not really a Star Wars fan, haven't really watched uh, Star Wars too many times, and I don't remember pretty much anything from the movies, so... Yeah, we are clearly undereducated to understand all the references uh, that this what is rich with. Actually, I don't know where people find all that. I mean, I don't do anything and I still can't imagine having enough time to watch all the stuff that people have seen, like all the Star Wars, all the like Doctor Who, uh, Star Trek, who, there's like a shit ton of it. H how do people manage to see all that? I don't know, but I don't feel bad about Star Wars at least, because I believe it's overrated. Hmm. I have no idea if uh, it's overrated. I, I think I have some nostalgia about the game Dark Forces, yeah, I was trying to remember. And like the first Dark Forces, I never got farther than like the second level, but I liked the atmosphere, atmosphere, atmosphere. And I thought that maybe the movies would be kind of cool the same way, but I never got around. I think it never captured my interest too well. Hmm. And also Star Trek from the descriptions and from the snippets uh, everywhere it sounds like a pretty cool uh, series or universe because uh, there's obviously more than one series there uh, and all that but I'm just kind of... and Doctor Who similarly everyone's like yeah you watch Doctor Who or uh, that Dexter or whatever well from mm -hmm. what I've seen from Doctor Who it seemed like super boring to me really? the only thing oh. I really interested in about Doctor Who are those uh, silence guys, uh, hmm. you know, th that you remember only e while you're yep. looking at them. That's yep. like the only thing that interests me in the whole series, that I'm too lazy to figure out in which episodes, in which seasons they are mentioned. <laughs> well, I I'm sure that on the wiki you can find extensive knowledge on... At the, uh, probably not at which, like, second of the video, but... Uh, in which episodes they are. I remember them, uh, well, I, I read about them once, I don't remember where it was linked from, but just recently on the Doom World forums in the uh, pictures thread, there was like an edit of Archwile in a suit, 
and it was called like Arch Silence or something like that. Ah, I think I have even seen that. Huh. So yeah, that's. Uh, I also I think the first thing I heard about that it was of course the uh, statues that what are they called like the Weeping Angels or yeah Weeping Angels. Yep, and that uh, I guess that SCP brought me to that. So not really excited. But uh, from what I gathered about that. It's supposed to be like this, uh, every episode is like something super interesting and f sci-fi and whatever, anything, super original ideas every time. Because there's like, it has a truckload of fans everywhere. But there's just, I don't know, I, I can't really, I'm not comfortable starting to watch it from like the middle, from one of the modern series. I, I If I would watch it, I would watch it from like the beginning, the old black and white. Of course, if, if there is a old black and white, I think I see, saw some like that. So I, I could never really be bothered to even try. And no, people, in case there are Doctor Who fans among two of you who watch me, uh, uh, I, I don't think you should bother uh, recommending and helping me with that because I'm, I'm still not going to bother. Some bars, rays. Which bars? That would be... Balcony. Where is the balcony? There's, is that the balcony? Okay, let's see if there is some items. Have they been respawning all this time and I haven't been gathering them? Um, Maybe. Each time I came here there was a different set of s stuff. Oh, so these were not different platforms, okay. I think no, it was just this one big blue shiny platform that I saw from across each time. I, I remember leaving a couple different steam like a steam pack and a medkit and now there's only a medkit, so this stuff changes. Oh, or maybe the steampunk just got completely hidden between all the other sprites. Whatever, let's see what the bars... So I guess this is probably the belk... Ah, yeah, these bars. I haven't even seen them. <laughs> That's still great how I could hear them from, like, over there. I hear well, those you know, in bars. such a place, probably... Good acoustics? Uh, it, yes. Uh -huh. mm, this is a dimensional rip in space-time. Or whatever. Maybe it's just a home. I can actually see that this the particle effects through it. <laughs> cool. Okay, let's quick save. That wasn't very hard. It was fun. Maybe partly because I really wasn't in any danger. This this arena needed to be like three times smaller and the monsters needed to come from all directions always, but like different types of monsters. But well, I if fun. this arena was three times smaller, we would be deprived of the epic sight of it appearing before our eyes as we start the level. Mm. I think we could, he could like make uh, a fence, hypothetically, and uh, just keep this whole huge scenery, but confine us to like a pit or a yard inside. Of course, that's just hypothetical. I'm just saying that when I have so much space, it becomes kind of trivial. Although at points it really did feel like a bullet hell situation there. Also, I kind of like how this looks. I wonder if it's going to go down. Whoa! Whoa! What happened? I think it was going up, but very, very fast. Hmm. There, there's actually... Uh, well, not in the format that I usually usually, usually uh, map in... Uh, I can do scripts, but uh, in map info I can uh, customize like the... Whoa! Uh, the the custom actions like on a level if you kill all the barons for example I can say what should happen on that level when I kill all the barons and there is a possibility to set up speeds not by like in the editor slow fast normal and turbo but by an, an actual number which I have no idea which number stands for what but I wonder because that looked kind of funny I wonder if I set up maybe like a speed of 128 how it's going to glitch out with me standing on it am I going to like sink into the floor every frame. Also, were there anywhere yellow locked anything, keys, doors? Have I don't know. If you used hex on map, you would have known that by just looking at the map, but I'm not sure why you are so insistent on using the uh, standard map. Uh, I, ah, yeah, you probably mean the, like, the format which I was talking about previously. I, because I asked you about the yellow key right no, now. No, I'm talking about the and map. You're talking about the auto map. The, the auto map and ah, this. F oh, I am today not very quick on the uptake. Ah, this. I just use it because it's the standard Doom colors. I prefer them to the uh, brown, light brown ones, which look like like a scroll. 
Whoa! -ho. Ah, and here's here's the yellow. There's a really tiny switch, and I actually push it down through the wall. If you see there on the texture. <laughs> Mighty. But yeah, cool. I hmm. All this architecture, I am. I haven't really observed it very well. I'm starting to wonder, wonder, wonder uh, how like random it is, or if there is a consistent style to it all. Because it feels like he's just randomly putting different shaped columns and whatnot. Also, did I just uh, completely like fall somewhere I can't escape from? I probably did. Whatever. Let's let's. Well, you can. Well, you could use this opportunity to kill all the spectators if you weren't so uh, Lazy. hesitant to kill monsters. Uh, do you really think that it would be worth it to kill well, all these pinkies one by one of on all well, the levels? Not, not really. Not yes, really. But I exactly. guess I will do it when I'm going to play through this level. <laughs> uh, have fun with that. So I'm going to say. Phew. This lift reminds me of like some old cartoon, which depicted a very fast lift, which like flattened people on the floor. That was, I think, that was really scary to me when I watched it because it was, I was pretty much a kid back then. Okay, let's. Uh huh. Help. I wonder if there is any point in going that way. Probably not. Let's j jump here and see. Also, what did the text mean about the fellow marine? Actually, maybe I have to follow like the blood drops. Let's see where they go. Fellow marine, marine. I thought marine. that would uh, refer to the green armor you picked up. Oh, maybe. Hmm. No. I guess the blood drops. Either there is something I'm missing here, because may there is a complete possibility there is like a secret all the way around. But <laughs> nope. This does look kind of pretty, from this angle, especially now when I can see more of it. Does look kind of pretty. There's like this lighting, which I don't really understand, but there is some variation on the spectator. Ah, uh, th these layers. Hmm. Maybe. Probably may you should take care of the pain elemental. Yeah. I can just. Where is it? Do this. And then, suddenly, no more than 21 lost soul in level. <laughs> uh, I wonder if that's cheating at this point. Well, I don't think I'll be returning to that arena. Or for just, extensive amounts of time. Just make sure you yeah. don't press those magical mm. keybinds of yours and everything's gonna be fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I know for all the amount of grief that those magical keybinds brought me in this LP, it wasn't really too much. Only one that one moment. Uh, they really, really help when I'm like testing maps and whatnot. So yeah, sure, testing maps. Testing yeah. exactly. Ah, th but then again, there is a steps here. Thanks for the steps because it would be really tiresome to return here every time. But yeah, it's not like I play Doom on my own too much. I don't really. I'm I'm just testing, even though in my maps. Uh, I usually put monsters at the very last moment, and even even right now I'm I have Doom Builder configured in such a way that uh, I'm testing with no monsters and command on because I can't be bothered killing what little I put there each time. But still, I don't know. I remember. Uh, I remember if the you helping. don't have any monsters, what exactly do you test? Well, now that I'm mapping for vanilla for that one Doom in name only project, I'm mostly just testing about uh, um, from where, how much, that should tell you enough. And also how stuff looks, because it does look uh, quite differently in-game uh, than it does in the editor, in the editor 3D mode, because of all the fake contrast stuff and all that, because I'm really relying heavily on the fake contrast uh, to make uh, areas look prettier than they are, <laughs> to make like some variation in the uh, colors of uh, huge chasm walls or whatever, and uh, that's uh, sometimes it's a mess. And I hate how when there is a when you make it bright, the contrast kind of goes away. So when I, if I want to have uh, well enough 
contrasted and pretty enough outdoor area, I can't make it too bright. But when I make it dark, like 144 or 128, there's like some walls are pure black and some walls are just, well, not full bright, of course, but comparatively to everything else, they are pretty full bright. It looks pretty shit. That's why for my wood, I just lowered the fake contrast from plus and minus 16 to plus and minus 8. Everyone's going to bitch about it like, eh, it's too... Uh, I don't know, the, the, the lighting is too smooth or whatever. But I don't care, it's... Actually, one person said it just like I think it's in the thread, that it should be more important to you as long as you're doing this kind of stuff just for fun and not like for your job. It should be much more important what you think is best when you're deciding some things. Well, to a limit, of course, but still, stuff like that. I should probably... Th there is like... A, it, it makes a word more interesting if I'm not just doing everything by the books. And if I'm ch changing something according to my own tastes. Whoop. I may end up killing inadvertently all the freaking pinkies. It keeps going this way. I guess it's kind of interesting. The, the doors here are different, uh, different levels, so I have to traverse up and down all the time. Also, now it starts reminding me of that level in Max Payne 3 with the stadium. Ah, oh, blood drops, fine. Were there any blood drops between the very start and here? Did you I notice don't them? think so, I haven't noticed hmm. any. Because I have been under the impression that I'm just completely randomly choosing where to go, and apparently maybe I'm walking in the right direction now. Or maybe I was carefully and uh, uh, hiddenly just led by a hand where I need to go. That's also a possibility. I don't really mind today. I, I'm in a good mood today. So I, when I went to the supermarket, my favorite brands of tea, which were absent from the shelves for like a month, were back. And I'm super happy because I bought like five boxes of it. And I have three cups of different sizes right now before me, just for the rest of the night, which I prepared to cool down. Including my new favorite blueberry muffin uh, scented tea. Did I did I tell you about that when I first found it? Uh, no, I don't think so. It was like a huge shock for me because I I had no idea that they make teas with a flavor of pastries. But apparently there is a tea, blueberry muffin, which I also call derpy's tea, and it's pretty tasty, so I keep buying it. Okay, what, where? Follow the blood trail. And there is the blue key. Nice. And I think I'll just drop down after this and go back with the lifts. That's nice. Do that you remember how to get back there? Because I don't. Well, what's there to remember? I go to the balcony, which is right here, by the way. And then I just ride up the lifts. I think, at least. Yes, ride up all the lifts and eventually I'll hit the blue switch. This is cool, that doesn't doesn't feel like forced completely like uh, like in Skyrim, which I never tire of bringing up, where it just completely destroys all possibilities of you ever needing to backtrack because every dungeon loops on itself at the very beginning. Here it's also convenient because I dropped down right, even I, I didn't even have to cross the arena, which I wouldn't mind in the slightest to do, but it wasn't like that was completely... It, it didn't feel like it had neon signs pointing me. This is the most convenient way here. I had the choice to go back the exact same route. And it didn't like... It wasn't so completely atrocious that it was obviously not what was intended. It was a choice that was not by, made by me. And as I was always saying, I like... I like when levels or games or everything, anything, gives me an opportunity to fuck up completely. Because then it feels like all the gameplay choices that I'm making when I play are actually significant and uh, consi uh, coincidental. No, what's the other word? Um, conse consequential? They have consequences. Okay. Yes. Right. Uh, on the other hand, what is this? Where am I? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. I wanted to actually ask your opinion about that. This looks what's like that some kind thing of thing in the middle. It's like transparent, like some screen or, or what's it's, that? It looks like a futuristic, like hologram room, like that one in Half-Life One where I launched the rocket. There was like a uh, globe floating, a hologram of a globe. Well, you know, maybe it's like uh, some 
underground uh, people uh, betting on the outcome <laughs> of the battle or something. That's actually yeah. That's like the uh, the society of the whoever the, the back back door entrance and the people, well, people in the vague sense of the word, uh, come here and sit here and watch and bet. Or maybe it's the the organizers uh, secret layer. Because this doesn't really look like uh, the video feed from the stadium. It actually looks kind of glitchy when I look at it because it wasn't the textures aren't aligned too well. I, it's it's not too much work in in uh, Doom Builder. You can it it shows you all the lengths of all the line depths. You can in theory. Oh, this switch is completely fucked up now. Damn it! Oh no! Phew! Uh, you can in theory control uh, the length of a circle circle or shape in such a way that the texture doesn't actually well it, it, it tiles it fits there in whichever number of tiles also I found this exit completely randomly skipped killing anyone and this exit is stunningly similar to an exit from uh, a level in shit haha only the walls and the floor are green and there is no exit panels I don't know if you, uh, you saw that part but it's like exactly the same sky the same width and height of a corridor it's really well, not really funny, but an interesting coincidence. Yeah, definitely the same sky. Yep. And the same exact way I just kind of jump out and exit. Ah. So, yep, that was not very long. That was actually just like half an hour. Yeah. Well, Skype I tells me it's 28 minutes. Exactly. 28, 39 at this moment. And that's actually convenient for me because uh, I may not have to actually... Uh, well, I, I definitely won't need to cut it and I will not tr need to bother with the new Vegas today uh, later, maybe later I think I'll, I'll do that after I finish this LP at least because uh, a jump in quality mid LP would be inconsistent even if it was a jump, jump for good I learned from Turok 2 LP and how terrible it was when at video like 40 or 39 I suddenly started adding uh, qualities better than 240 <laughs> Uh, well, actually, no, no one complained ever about that, but I, I just kind of feel that it's stupid that more than half of this LP was, was completely shitty quality. And it's still the, my, my most watched LP if I uh, look at the stats. Whatever. Next time, I don't know when at this point. I, I, I haven't yet decided. Uh, depends hugely on Deathmatcher. Ne next time we'll be doing more on Deathmatcher. Then 7, the fabled 7 with Hippocat. And then next time after that. Final destination, folks only, no items, with Hippocats. And that's a future bright enough to look into with a smile. So say your final words, you don't have to be today, I am in a good mood, I will not uh, try to force you into being interesting, just say what you want to say, and I'll stop recording. Well, there's not much I really want to say. It was a pretty cool level, I guess. <laughs> That's all I can say. Like the architecture, like the the epicness, so to speak, the the size, the hugeness. Yep, pretty and much that's, exactly what. That, that's that. Yeah. Pretty much exactly what I wanted to say, and uh, it's definitely uh, a lot more better received than the last level was. I don't know if it's the change in our attitudes or if the level is really that much better. But yes, I I can. Uh, just sign under every word you just said. It's exactly like I wanted. It. it looked nice. It looked cool. It was fun, not too challenging, but kind of fun, interesting, not too long, not too repetitive. Just, just a great level, refreshing. I had fun. I enjoyed it. Goodbye.